Hey guys, Terif here. Welcome to the channel. If you're new, if you're old, welcome back. Uh, today I wanted to give you a little secret of mine. Because uh, I've been playing around with Apex Legends settings for quite a while. And I wanted to give you guys the best settings for this game. Because even me, with a beastly PC, and when I mean beastly, I say a GTX 1080 Ti, a AMD Ryzen Generation 7 2700X, uh, 32 gigabytes of RAM and stuff like that. Even then, on Ultra, my game can run like shit. Uh, I do record in uh, 21 by 9 as well, ultra wide. So, but anyway, every other game plays fine. Even Metro Exodus was just released. But today, guys, I wanted to give you the best settings for this game because. Um, that's how it is. Just do what I do. Do what, do what I do, and you won't lose any graphics on it. You really won't. Um, the game still looks really good, even though it's, it's, even though it's most of it is is, is turned off. Um, one really important thing that I want to mention is the display mode. If you play Apex Legends and you record. If you record like I do, you need to have this in full screen. Not window and not borderless. You need to have it in full screen. I don't know what, what, what it does. Every other game I can do borderless windowed and not have a single performance hit. But as, as, as soon as I do it with Apex Legends, it fucks me over. So if you record, play it in full screen because that's the best thing. Uh, aspect ratio, if you got a good PC, do native. Uh, most people should be able to handle native. If you don't, you should probably upgrade your PC. Resolution, do what your resolution is. Mine's 3440 by 1440 native P. Uh, field of view, 90, colorblind mode, you know, all of that shit. Uh, vertical sync, disable. Disable that. My screen has G-Sync, and it works pretty good with uh, triple buffered sometimes, but I figured out the best thing for me personally and I think everybody else was watching this video once VSync turned off completely so just do that adaptive resolution FPS target you just want to put that in between 60 and 65 or 60 or 70 sorry 60 and 70 so I put mine in 65 range it's really that simple adaptive super sampling disable that anti-aliasing anti TSAA but you know it's grayed out because you disabled the adaptive super sampling Oh, okay, that's... yeah, whatever. My mistake. Texture, streaming budget, medium, 3 gigabytes of RAM. I could actually do very high and don't have a single performance hit, even ultra, or insane. But I do medium, because it works. It works really well, and yeah, the more FPS, the better. Texture filtering, billionaire, do that. Ambient occlusion quality, disable that. Sun shadow coverage, low. Sun shadow detail, low. Spot shadow detail, disable that shit. Volumetric lighting, disable and deny and <laughs> dynamic spot shadows, disable that as well. Model detail, medium. Effects detail, medium. And impact marks, low. And red dolls on medium. And that, ladies and gentlemen, when you have copied my settings, applied, and you will have a you will have an amazing time playing Apex Legends. Remember? Yeah, there is some work going on around my apartment right now, so sorry for the noises, but it happens. Anyway, guys, if you do have a screen that goes to 1920 by 1080, do that. Mines go up a lot further because my screen's a lot bigger. But yeah, just copy my settings and Put your screen resolution to the highest that it can possibly go. And and I want to say thank you so much for watching. I know this video is like really fast and, and really on point. But I just wanted to get it out there for people to, to be able to handle and play this game. Because I know a lot of people have performance issues with this game. But yeah, thank you so much for watching everybody. Don't forget to subscribe and like and comment. Do all that good shit. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Have a good one.